Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Tarot for You 444. Um, today we're going to take a look at um, what the Divine Masculine is holding back on. So I think it's a really important thing to know that, um, <clears throat> you know, as confident as Divine Masculine may seem at times, um, that, you know, sometimes he feels the need to hold back because, you know, there can be some things in his past, perhaps, or, you know, in his now, um, you know, that, that lead him to do so. So what I want to do is just see why, first of all, let's ask him what he's holding back, and then why. So what and why he's holding back. And then we might have a look and see if there are any secrets that he's also withholding. Okay, so what, why and secrets. And this will give the Divine Feminine a clear understanding of what she might need to do on her end. Okay. Alright, so just bear with me a moment. I want to get some clarity. The, um, the last few days have actually felt, um, you know, quite rewarding in the sense of, you know, moving toward goals, moving toward, um, you know, what, <clears throat> what we feel good about and you know and and taking our life into a direction that we feel comfortable so this is for divine feminine and masculine coming up um, that I'm channeling now that feeling of getting to work and you know letting go of things that no longer serve us including the drama um, you know coming into spirituality And making sure that you know we take the time to you know do our everyday spiritual practices you know whether that be religious or otherwise and um, you know that's a really beautiful thing so um, so we're going to say uh, first of all what the divine masculine is holding back and then why, and then the secrets. So let's start with the overall energy coming through. And that is that Divine Masculine knows that he needs to make a decision regarding love. Um, he doesn't want to come across as wishy-washy anymore. He knows that making a decision toward this goal is going to give him clarity going to the soulmate or to the twin flame not soulmate to the twin flame the past life connection um, is important more than ever before as especially as we're coming into the 11-11 um, portal Okay, so the reason I feel like I'm, I'm talking slowly is because I really feel that there's a calmness coming through in Divine Masculine. You know, normally he's like got crazy thoughts going on and he's like, Bleh, you know, <laughs> trying to work out, you know, what's next? How do I do this? Where am I going? Um, and he, you know, there's this sense of calm. It's as if he's been really maintaining his own composure you know protecting himself protecting his aura protecting his own well-being and also protecting the relationship so this is really beautiful okay so what is he holding back he's holding back on telling divine feminine 
exactly how much he wants to be there for her and that he's known this for some time so he has known for a very long time that he is in love with her he's holding back on giving an offer an emotional offer a caring offer a gentle loving offer because he is trying to work out how to come forward in, in sort of a dominating way so he wants to do it in a dominating way but not in a controlling way so he wants to come through to divine feminine as though he's wise and knowledgeable you know able to give advice um, <clears throat> able to be her strength for a change because a lot of the time you know divine feminine takes the lead so he wants to change the cycle but he's holding this back he's also holding back that he's made a decision a huge decision that she, that she, he understands that she is his strength I think I was saying this I, I went to make a video yesterday and for some reason it wouldn't upload um, we're having internet issues uh, connection issues but I was saying in the video yesterday that divine feminine is the fire underneath if he was the wood you know what I mean so he knows that's what he's holding back he's holding back the fact that he knows she is his everything you know he can have a lot of money he can have the house the car the clothes the things but his life feels empty without her and he's not saying this um, and if he has said this then he's very spiritually awakened and congratulations to my masculine for saying this okay so why has he been holding this back he's been holding back because he doesn't want to come across as overly enthusiastic and he doesn't want to be rejected he also knows that by not saying his truth and his passion that it seems as if he's coming across as defensive he also knows that he may lose divine feminine as his number one resource as his love of his life perfect you know goddess spiritual goddess so that's really big so rejection he doesn't want to be rejected and he also doesn't want to come across as being a fool for love I've, I've also mentioned that the other day as well that's a song um, I don't think it's called fool for love though it's by Jacoy and it's called fool for you I think so j-a-h-k-o-y fool for something is the song and you know if you're guided to listen to that that will yeah that's that is the message here today so let's take a look at the secrets that he's holding back so for right now he's holding back this truth of love and passion so even if he's come through and said I love you he means that so much more than what you could imagine he doesn't just love you he is absolutely infatuated absolutely cannot get enough absolutely sees divine feminine as the strength as the one who tames his darker side as the one who stops his depression as the one that he wants to be committed to you know you see in romantic movies where you know a, 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 there's a passionate kiss or something and the guy comes in and you know kisses the woman and I mean this is not just you know 
even that wonderful kind of love where you know you you'd be kissed and and you know taken in the bedroom let's say like dominated um it's deeper than that you know he he wants to kiss your forehead he wants to hold your hand he wants to massage your feet he wants to you know treat you like an absolute princess this is you know absolute true love it goes far beyond it's beyond your wildest dreams it's unimaginable it's you know when you look into one another's eyes you know that this is a part of yourself in another person's body it's so profound it's better than a movie so let's take a look at the love messages now such a beautiful reading um you know divine masculine is just you know he cannot not love you it's that beautiful okay so no matter what's happening in 3d in the 3d reality know that this is the truth of how divine masculine feels for you we've got 10 love messages so let's go through them now they may not all resonate to you because remember this is a general collective reading so if you do want a private reading with me please contact me in the uh, my details are in the description box below so he says i am sorry if i can ever contribute to the suffering of your heart sometimes i look at you and wonder how i got to be so damn lucky a long tight hug from you would be perfect right now just because i let you go it doesn't mean i wanted to i'm thinking about you right now you are the best thing that happened to me in a long time i smile whenever i get a message from you i've been bleeding in your silence i wish i was kissing you instead of missing you i can't wait for the day we start living our life together so divine feminine wow this is just so beautiful um you know i want you to keep doing whatever you've been doing because obviously it's working you've obviously been looking after yourself you've obviously been purging you've obviously been you know doing spiritual practice and if you haven't been doing enough of it keep going keep doing more you know add more to your daily routine if you can add more self-love add more self-care because all of this is bringing divine masculine in like you would not believe um, I've been seeing 7, 17 um, for a long, long time. This is divine union. This is, um, you know, definitely, definitely coming in. Okay, so divine feminine messages from spirit to you are, um, you know, sometimes you've been eating crappy food, processed food or takeaway, so eat better, please please know Archangel Michael is helping this union you are the key look within call a friend if you feel um, the need to at this time you may not necessarily want to discuss twin flames with them but just call a friend you know that sometimes can make everything easier um, they are your twin flame so whoever you're thinking about um, in one of my previous videos there's a candle picture on the front there's actually a meditation a guided meditation to show you who your twin flame is so if you haven't done that i would um, advise you to take a look at that um, if you've been asking any question recently or a question comes to mind right now the answer to that is a no it's a no from spirit um, two more is be assertive and also be grateful for all things so wow yeah so guys this is a really beautiful reading divine masculine is madly deeply passionately in love with you this collective that i am channeling for um, it's very beautiful 
it um, you know we've got so many cards showing showing his love we've got um, the six of cups if you're into tarot we've got the six of cups we've got the lovers card we've got the knight of cups we've got the ace of cups we've got the ace of wands um, uh, we've got the wheel of fortune um, and also the ace of swords too so this is the truth the truth is divine masculine is absolutely madly in love with you he yeah he's <laughs> under a spell quite literally not really literally but <laughs> um, you are his goddess and he thinks only of you if he's in a karmic relationship with someone else I'm telling you he is all about you he you know not only wants to make love to you he wants to you know rub your feet he wants to play with your hair he wants to cook for you he wants to you know run a bath for you he wants to do all of those romantic things he um yeah he might even sing for you he might sing songs to you he might um what else might he do goodness he's just in love with you he's, he's i don't know he might do some crazy things he's really in love with you okay so psychic messages coming through before I go is the color yellow the solar plexus angels lots and lots of angels really big signs for the angels we've got feathers coming through white feathers we've got animals um, the zebra is coming through quite clearly we have squirrels coming through um, and lizards are also important at this time um, what else do we have we've got coconuts we've got cherries and or berries we've got going out for coffee with friends and floral floral prints it's like dresses spring kind of dresses um, and landscapes like big landscapes where you know the grass is um, sort of flowing or there's wildflowers um, we've got high heel shoes we've got nightclubs we've got dancing we've got bubble baths and we've got a lot of making love <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed my um, channeling reading today guys um, thank you so much for supporting my channel and um, you know if you need to get in contact with me please do so by following the messages um, in the description box below and I also invite you to like share and subscribe and um, yeah it's <laughs> the energy is really cool at the moment really really good um, so have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I'm sending you so much love peace and light bye for now